Welcome to the She Build Show. I'm your host, Stephanie Olson, a licensed general contractor who builds new construction, renovates, and designs your vision. Today, more than ever, we need raw, authentic women who are willing to rise above society's norms, break those glass ceilings, and encourage each other to boldly build the life we were meant to live. So honey, what are you building? Welcome to the She Build Show. I hope you spread love all over the place on Valentine's Day and especially gave yourself some love. That is so important that we recognize when we need to stop and take care of ourselves. One thing I started doing a while ago on Valentine's Day is just making the reservations and setting up the day. I'd rather do the work and plan a wonderful evening than be sorely disappointed because my husband is not a great planner, but I I am the one with that gift. That's one of my gifts. So why not just plan the day, surprise him, enjoy our evening without disappointment. It's so much better than a bitter night filled with regret. I learned that a while ago and it serves me well. But anyways, today I want to talk about saying no and saying yes. Women, at least most of them I know, are sensitive, caring, kind and want to please. We want to make everyone happy and serve. And most of us have a hard time saying no, setting boundaries and keeping a healthy balance in our life. No is a hard word when someone else's thoughts about you matter more than your well-being. Let me say that again. When you are scared to say no to something that you know will break you, wear you out, exhaust you, and then you still say yes, I feel like most of the time it's because we place our thoughts of the person we are saying no or yes to inside of our own mind. We make up this scary story that they may not like us anymore. They may never want to hang out with us again. They may be disappointed and tell other people. Isn't that crazy that we sacrifice ourselves for some perceived internal thought that we made up about someone else's thinking? We don't even know if those thoughts are true. And yet we make decisions around that thought, like their actual truth, actual fact. Why? Why do we do this? Why is saying no so hard? I think that maybe it might have something to do with our lack of connection to ourselves. That maybe when we say yes, when we really mean no, it's because we forgot what was a yes and a no for us. We're so used to ignoring the internal voice that we just automatically and habitually say yes without any check-in. I'm terrible at this. It literally causes me physical pain to let someone down, to disappoint them, to know I didn't exceed their expectation. It will keep me up at night. But here are a few things I do to help. For me, this mainly manifests in my business. Taking on a job I know is not the best use of our talent and time. Wanting to please everyone, solve all of their problems. And in the end, I'm the one with the problems, the exhaustion, and the regret of saying yes when I meant no. So here's the tip. If it's not a hell yes, then it's a no. I use this in my business all the time and I make sure... I never say yes to a project without my entire team saying, hell yes. This is like a safeguard for me. If we all can't feel the excitement, then it's a no. Something better will come. The right something. It always does. Opportunity is everywhere. And what you seek is seeking you. If you want the best clients, the best projects and a healthy relationship with your work, say yes to only the things that are Hell yes. Everything else is a no. One of my favorite quotes is from Warren Buffett. The difference between successful people and really successful people is that really successful people say no to almost everything. Good point, sir. For my personal life, I use my spouse as a protection. Just like in my business, I kind of have to use my team as a protection because this is not my strongest muscle. I'm not good at it. So I have to have these extra layer of protection. So in my personal life, I use my spouse as my protection against my terrible ability to set boundaries. So when someone asks me to do something that is for sure a no, but I can't say no, and then 
the thoughts start consuming me about what they might think, this is my answer. Let me just check in with my hubby first. I got to see his schedule. (laughs) This little line gives me time. Know what you can't do. If you can't do this, say, hey, let me check with my husband and I'll get back to you and then not get back to the person. That is bad manners. That is bad character. You will never have friends. So be honest, communicate your real feelings, maybe set up a different time or place that will be a complete and honest yes for you. But come up with a line that gives you time to think, to check in until your honest truth can be trusted and can come out easier in the moment. I'm still not great at this, but I think it's important to choose what we do with our time. It's such a finite resource and I want to be intentional with every hour of my day. I want to be friends with people who breathe life into me. I want to serve this world and I want to change it. I want to be world class. So girl, that means no might be appropriate. My business coach tells me good is the thief of great. I want to be world class and I don't want to settle for just good enough. Neither should you. So on the other side of this coin is saying yes, taking action saying yes to things that maybe you really need to say yes to. My friend has a saying, if it scares me, then say yes. So if she's terrified, she jumps in both feet. I love this model because so much of us coast through life. We don't take the vacation. We don't jump out of the airplane. We don't trust our gut. We don't buy the investment. We live in such a world of fear. And you know what? I'm done with fear. It's taken a lot from me. It's kept me quiet and small for far too long. Take action. Say hell yes to the things that you want to do and then put the work in. Stay committed. Be a powerful force. I know. I just know you're going to change the world because you want to know why? You're astonishing. Nobody else has the gifts that you have. Nobody else has the ideas and the forethought and the wisdom that you have. So say yes to the things that you've been pushing aside. Say no when it's really a no. Man, thank you for letting me share my heart with you today. If you're loving this podcast and you have a topic that you want me to talk about, that you want some more information on, please go to my Instagram page. It's shebuilds.homes and send me a message. I'd love to pour some more information and knowledge into you. And you know what? Dream big, take action, and be true to your nose. You got this, girl. Thanks for joining me today on the She Build Show. My name is Stephanie Olson. My hope is that this episode leaves you feeling empowered and ready to boldly take that step into building the life that you envision, one, two by four at a time. And if you can do me a quick favor, please leave me a five-star review on iTunes. I get giddy over reading the reviews each week, and I will choose one special person to win some SheBuild swag. Make sure you add your name to the review, and I'll reach out if you're the winner. Thanks again for hanging out. Be sure to visit me at theshebuildshow.com, where you can ask me questions and share with me what you're building.